Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, working on a matte finish. Anything that has satin, stealth, or matte finishes needs to be handled, maintained, and prepped properly and a little bit differently than gloss finishes. This Mercedes AMG here has a white matte finish. We will prep that for coating, and I thought I would take you along for the ride today. We're going to start off with the decon. Built Hamber Auto Foam is going to be first. There are many ways to go about this, by the way. This is my way. We're going to foam it first, let it dwell for as long as we can, let that um, slightly alkaline mixture do its work. If you look at the gloss paint next to satin finishes side by side, microscopically, the gloss finish would be flatter with just minor peaks and valleys. The satin, stealth, or matte finish would have deep valleys and high peaks, and that's what gives it its look. Unfortunately, you can't do any correction, you can't polish, and it needs to be deep cleaned chemically, not mechanically. While the auto foam dwells and does its work, it gives me a chance to come in with a soft detailing brush and agitate the corners around the emblems and all the tighter areas where dirt can gather and linger. And then, of course, rinse thoroughly. Okay, next we reconnect the foamer one more time. As you can see, these panels have no protection whatsoever. We foam the entire vehicle for a second time. After a few minutes of dwell time, we grab our wash mitts that have been sitting in a bucket of strip wash and we start the contact wash. Rinse again. We are getting there, friends, much cleaner. We need to dry it now. For the next step, we want to use the iron remover, ferrous metal remover, and we want to spray it on the panels without being diluted whatsoever. So we're just going to quickly go around and dry painted surfaces. On to the next step. Grab your favorite iron remover or ferrous metal remover. We're using Adams today. My favorite happens to be Fireball uh, Iron Burn. I am out of it, so the Adams works uh, perfectly fine in its place today. We're going to douse all painted surfaces and let it do its work. You guessed it, we're going to rinse thoroughly once again with satin stealth or matte finishes there's not going to be machine polishing there's not going to be clay uh, nothing to uh, scathe or mar the painted surfaces whatsoever because they cannot be removed afterwards it's all done chemically we're going to rip open a fresh pack of wash mitts the work stuff wash mitts uh, microfiber work fantastic We have a bucket with Adam's strip wash. We'll dunk the mitts and wash the vehicle one more time for any iron remover, ferrous metal remover, overspray, or residue. We'll rinse that off and quickly pull it in to thoroughly dry it both with uh, drying towels and a leaf blower.
Now that the surface is squeaky clean, we can come in for a bit of inspection and we will find areas that are scratched through. We can't do anything about that except for touch up. Uh, and we can also grab Citral 266 and work off any bug guts or transfer that has been left behind after the decon process. These areas back here can also be prepared and taken care of with Citral. The shop manager approves. Uh, you just need to keep in mind you want to flush the area immediately wherever you use Citral 266 on a painted surface. Gloss, stealth, satin, matte. Good to go there. One more step before the protection process, and that's prep. Use the prep of your choice. That will ensure any residue or leftover protectants like a wax or a sealant is removed so the protection gets a nice tight bond with the painted surface. There were a few areas that needed touch-up paint, and nine times out of ten, we will have the customer stop in a dealership and grab uh, exact match OEM touch-up paint. Now we want to position the lift, get the Mercedes elevated so we can attack the wheels. With the wheels removed, that reveals a dirty wheel arch that needs to be detailed and we'll go after the calibers as well. We can give them a deeper clean getting in back behind the spokes, more uh, into the barrel of the wheel and the other side of the lip and it just uh, elevates the wheel so we can get a closer look and get them cleaner. Although it does have a stealth finish, uh, there are some glossy areas that need to be polished. While they work on the trim and the wheels, I can take care of the wheel arches and the calipers.
Wheels are now all cleaned up. They do have a satin finish, so we're going to use the Gion Q2 matte coating. Thorough coverage of the coating on the wheel, uh, doing a wheels off. You can spin it around. You could put it on your tire rack or your wheel rack so you can have easy access to all those little corners and nooks and crannies. Calipers will be protected. Any painted surfaces in the wheel arch will be coated and protected. While the wheels are off, it gives me a chance to do a courtesy for the owner or the next person that may inspect the vehicle or want to pull the wheels, and that's to lube up the hub and the lug nuts. Let's get everything back together, buttoned up, and cranked down to spec. Finally, time to pay some attention to the painted surfaces, and again, we pull out a fresh bottle of the Q2 mat from Gion. The coating goes on and wipes off, just like any other coating, for glossy surfaces. As I bring you in closer, you'll notice that it does go on glossy. There's no need to panic. That's the transfer solution. As you're working it, you will see it start to evaporate and uh, kick back into a nice satin or matte finish. And then when you wipe it off, you have a glowing uh, satin matte or stealth finish.
And as you can see here, freshly coated. Uh, we have no gloss whatsoever. That's why you want to stick with a coating and a maintenance spray that matches up with a stealth or uh, a satin or matte finish. And you just continue your way around the vehicle just like you would any other coating project. After a proper cure for whatever coating you're working with, they all seem to be slightly different. It's time to top it and send the vehicle on its way. That's going to be the uh, matte cure uh, Q2 from Gion. We're going to keep everything in the same family. With cure matte, you want to mist it directly into a microfiber, not onto the painted surfaces. And that's really all there is to it. It's prepped, it's protected, and ready for the customer to enjoy. Yeah, we could back it outside as well. Let it enjoy some warm sunlight on this crisp, cool afternoon. That will do it for today's video, my friends. If you have any questions on this process whatsoever, leave them down in the comments section, and I'll help you the best I can. We'll catch you guys in the next video.